Dr. Ali Rathif al Nuaimi is the General Director of the Department of Education of and Knowledge and member of the Executive Council of the uh, Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Dr. al Nuaimi is also uh, the Chairman of Hedadia, uh, the Global Forum for Countering Violent Extremism. His Excellence, it's a pleasure to have you at Ilkhano Royal Institute this morning. Um, what is the objective of HEDAYA, the Global Forum on Countering uh, Violent Extremism? First of all, good morning. Thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to talk uh, today. Uh, actually, HEDAYA is, uh, is an international center uh, and it was established in 2012 by the GCTF. It is the Global uh, Forum to Counter Terrorism, which consists of 29 countries. And uh, because of initiative that was uh, uh, offered by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, the Foreign Minister of the UAE, to establish a center uh, to counter extremism, and the UAE will host that center. This is you know, why it's in Abu Dhabi. Uh, but uh, at the end, it's an international center. It serves the international community. Uh, this is uh, Hidayah, and uh, we, our staff is, is an international staff. We work wherever there is a threat uh, to the world related to extremism. Uh, and uh, in, in many initiatives, we do it with the, either with the European Union, uh, with Spain, we have a, a certain initiative, uh, with the U.S., with Canada, with uh, many countries. Uh, and we are active mostly wherever there is a threat, especially the hot spot of, of extremism that might uh, at the end turn to be terrorism. Mm -hmm. Um, concerning to, to Spain, what do you think could be, uh, that could be the role of Spain in countering violent extremism because uh, his, uh, its position as a southern border of the European Union, but also uh, a country with special ties with the Mediterranean and Arab and Muslim world? Okay. First of all, we have to you know, uh, recognize this. Terrorism is a threat to the world, not to a single country. And no one, no single nation will be able to counter terrorism by itself, uh, none. And we, we uh, in Hidayah, we, we look at terrorism as a threat to the world. So this is why we see that we have to be active er everywhere, wherever there is a threat. And we believe that the, the root of uh, terrorism is extremism. So we, we counter extremism in order to counter terrorism at the end. Uh, Spain, because of the location of Spain, because of its role uh, within uh, the European Union, within uh, North Africa and West Africa, it, it has a, a major role. It has to play. There is no choice. Uh, you know, the, the, there is a challenge of immigrants coming from North Africa and West Africa to Spain and going to Europe later on. And some of them, either they are already radicalized uh, or there is, there is an opportunity uh, and potential to rad radicalize them. So uh, I think Spain, as other, as other country in the region, they, they have a major role to, pre, uh, to play in countering terrorism and extremism. Mm -hmm. The main topic of your presentation today uh, at the Cano Royal Institute will be uh, the approach uh, of a United Arab Emirates uh, to countering violent extremism. Could you please uh, explain us what are the efforts that currently your country are doing in countering violent extremism? Okay. First of all, you know, many sometimes they ask why the UAE is doing that. You know, we, the UAE is a small country. We understand, you know, our role and uh, our capability also. But because we were able to develop a model of development in the region, a region which is unstable region, a region that suffered a lot from wars and terrorism, we had to play a role to protect our model. We were able in the UAE to create a lifestyle that you won't find it anywhere in the world. We have more than 200 nationality. 
uh, they are living in peace and, uh, and harmony and enjoying a lifestyle they are willing to fight to protect. So the, we have so many initiatives related to countering extremism and terrorism because we want to, to protect our national security and to protect the model and the lifestyle that we were able to develop during the last four decades. So this is why, you know, we make, you know, we made sure from the beginning that our educational system, the outcome of our educational system is that we will have a new generation who believe in tolerance, who believe in appreciating the other religion, uh, culture, who believe that we globalism is not only in business but in everything. And we have to play our part and, and do our share related to protecting humanity and also developing a common values that we add as human beings, we share regardless of our religion, our ethnics, our nationality. So we, we, we did uh, a huge change related to our educational system. Our legislation protect the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech. Uh, we, we, we were able to develop many initiatives to spread a word of peace inside the UAE and outside the UAE. So this is why you have Hidayah. This is why cre we created the Muslim Elders Council to promote Islam as a religion of peace. This is uh, why we created Sawab to counter the narrative of ISIS and uh, many other initiatives. But at the end, you know, there is a model of development we, we, where we believe in and we are willing to fight to protect. And finally, regarding your last, uh, your last comment on the narratives, uh, are the extremist groups winning the battles on, of the narratives on the social media? And what could be the role of the media in the awareness about, uh, of extremism and counter-narrative? Well, you see, uh, uh, when you talk about the internet, when you talk about social media, uh, when you talk about cyberspace, it's open. Everyone has the, you know, the right and the opportunity to say anything and to do so many things. Uh, the problem is this, that these terrorist groups, they recognize uh, from the beginning the importance of the social media, the way that they can utilize it to benefit them. So you will see that uh, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab in Somalia, they have uh, their website. They have so many accounts uh, in, in Twitter, in Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, that they are using it for three main things. Uh, first, for recruitment. Second, for fundraising. And third, to promote their ideology. Uh, and I believe uh, we, we, we created Sawab uh, with a certain uh, cooperation with the United States to counter these narratives on, on the social media. Uh, of course, uh, you can say that, you know, we, we won the battle. It's the, every day there is something new in that space. So, you know, you have to do, uh, you have to be active, you have to be proactive, you have to create your initiative that will counter their narrative. And uh, I don't believe that we should wait and see what they are doing and then start defending. No, we have to especially counter their ideology so they will not be able to promote their ideology or to recruit uh, people uh, to be part of their, uh, their organization. Okay, so thank you so much for, for coming to, to the El Cano Royal Institute to share with us uh, your thoughts and your experience in, in this, of course, vibrant and most interesting topic. Thank you so much. Thank you.